Hey guys, it's Paul. Happy Me Golf. A new feature today. I think it's really cool and it's morphed into something else as well. So, see, uh, this is a quick way to tag where in the world you've played. I say that, it's relatively quick. It's not the fastest way, but it's the fastest way to jog your memory. So what it does is if you've set a home course, which is mine is Austin Hall, it looks for the, tw the uh, courses within 25 miles of that. So then when you go to your map, you can see the courses are pinned properly. It might jog your memory. Now, for instance, I haven't tagged uh, Hickleton as played, and I have played it, and I don't know why. I've probably just deleted it. All you've got to do is mark as played, and it will tick it and green it and reset the page. So again, if you're looking for places, Waterfront, it's only eight miles away from the home course. Um yeah, I did have a postcode search here, but it didn't work. What I might do is uh, add a current location. So look for col so when you, if you're away somewhere and you're looking for a game, hit your current location. Here's the golf courses being 25 miles. Here's the one you've played. Here's the ones you haven't. What that will do is update your uh, map. So if you go to your map, golf clubs I've visited. When I go here, obviously. Uh, now, Hickleton will be a pin. Where's Hickleton in the world? Doncaster. Oh, it's one of these. Hickleton. So, Hickleton is now on my um, map. I need, to, I need to spruce up the course pages. So, you can see, firstly, it's just an easy way to um, find what you've tagged. So, maybe if you do... I don't know if you type in Sheffield. Sheffield Golf Club. Where have I tagged in Sheffield that I've played? I haven't played... Oh, that was Australia. There's a Sheffield Golf Club in Australia. Uh, yeah, maybe you can't type Sheffield. I need a, a Lee's Hall, is it? There, I've seen it there. So this is Sheffield, right? So if I search that, that will tell me, is there any courses I've forgot? Burby Wood, two miles away from Lee's Hall. From Lee's Hall. Um, I haven't really played any courses, and I can't remember. I would have to, what I'd have to do, and this is what I really like about this, is go to, and there's multiple ways of doing this, is go to uh, the golf club and see who's played it. Have I played with Corin? Did I play there with Corin? And then you can go to Corin's map. Now, this is what I, the second part of this, what I think is really cool, is when you're trying to organise a golf trip and you go to somebody else's page of where they've played near their home course. So, Bortree Golf Club is Corin's home course. Now, if you see here, the, it's slightly changed. It says play to play for them, and then it says you've played or you've not played. Mark has played. So I haven't played at Wheatley. So I might say to Corin, I've never played at Wheatley. I need to tick it off my Doncaster map. How did you get on there? Did you know a member? Did you know somebody? I might go to the map and see, oh, only Corin's played it, so there's not anybody else. But if somebody else who was you maybe a friends we on Happy Me Golf um, has set that as their own course, you've got half a chance playing it, haven't you? Same with Doncaster Golf Club, right? I've played it, Corin hasn't. I think I've played it a few times on a golf charity day and a yeah, it was a rugby golf charity day and and a, a society that I got invited on. So if if Corin said, "Oh, you're the only one to play Doncaster," how did you get on? It was a society or a charity day. So let's have a look for societies or charities and eventually I want it to I want us to post charity days. I want it I want this to have an events page. Open day, charity day, members guest day. I don't know what kind of things they have. But hopefully you'll see that we can see now on another person's profile where they've played and where you haven't. So if you're looking to play uh, you go in Aldi with a mate, say Corin obviously I went to Las Vegas with Corin. So we go to Las Vegas. Right, um, Las Vegas Country Club, right? We've both played it. Oh, no, I didn't click on it. <laughs> Did I click on it? Search. Click search, Paul. It's not Bawtry. I was looking at all the greens, right? Yeah, we played Las Vegas Golf Club. So we went, Corin and Neil's, um, uh, what's it called when you do your marriage vows again? Renewal, re, oh, I don't know. But anyway, so if you're going to Vegas... But you're going to Vegas, say I'm going to Vegas with the bullet, which was also on the, uh, the uh, in fact, if I go here, go back to here, Las Vegas Country Club, nobody's played, Las Vegas National, here we go, 
Oh, Jacko's played there. Now you might just say to Jacko, um, how did you get on? Uh, is it a good course? What courses do you recommend in Vegas? I maybe need to do this for a, a location as well, not just picking a course in that area. So when you go to here, so Jacko in, um, in Vegas, he's played the TPC Las Vegas. He's played the Eagle Crest. He's played the Siena Golf Club. Uh, Durango, Las Vegas. So he's played all these courses. So you'd be saying to him, which course is best for me? I'm going to Vegas, but I can only play golf once. Which course should I try and get on? Uh, and obviously, if you've played it, you can just mark it as played. I've played that one. So when you're looking to do a golf trip, if you want to delete it, is I delete it? Go here, delete round. Delete, delete, delete. It'll go back. Oh, something crapped out there. When I refresh this, this is going to go red again. Red again. So if you're planning a um, a golf trip or something or a, a place to go with a friend, uh, where would you go? Where's, why do we play that Worsley? Is it Worsley? Worsley Golf Club? Eccles, I think we played Worsley. We didn't play Worsley, we played the Marriott. So we played the Marriott, yeah. So we played the Marriott together. But say I was stopping at the Marriott, if I, if I type in Worsley Park. Let's go Worsley Park just to show you. So if we go, we're, we're stopping at the Worsley. We want to get a few more courses together. Uh, the Ellesmere is less than a mile away. Worsley Golf Club, Manor Golf Club's at two mile away. Uh, obviously... The bullet is from that area. He's played all these courses. What do you think? Shall we go and play Worsley Golf Club? Shall we go and play Swindon? Tick two things off our map. Um, and then, as you say, uh, as you quickly click it, as you click mark as played, you can um, see that your map will grow. When you go to your profile, there's multiple ways of getting to the same place. Your map will grow. Your countries will grow. The places you've played will grow. Uh, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to improve this map. I don't quite like how it loads. It's a bit finicky. Um, another way to find places you haven't played on your own is to go to um, the old map or the old golf map. If you zoom in, it will clusterfy. So zoom out. And if you to toggle that, it removes your clusters. So these are all the golf courses I've played in uh, up north. And if I want to see golf courses that I haven't, you just tick there. And there's all the golf courses. So I've got some golfing to do. So what's this? Who's this? Crow. Lincolnshire Golf Club. Grange Park. What's that one? That's Wheatley, isn't it? Yeah, Wheatley. So that Wheatley. So this is my home course. Oston Park. Here's Wheatley. So that is the one that shows when you go to nearest you. This was really set up to, to see which ones you haven't. So there we go, 6.29 miles away. Um, this was just to jog your memory on courses that you might have played that you haven't tagged as played. But it actually morphed into, why not make it? So let's let's show if we've got... F what Eventually what I wanted to do is, is if you've got a group of three friends or a four ball or an eight ball, you add all the usernames and then you go to a place and it shows you where everybody's played. Uh, and as I say, that's that might jog, help you find out who can get you into a golf course or it might find a place where you've none played before. Go join App Me Golf. It is completely free to join. Uh, it takes a minute. It doesn't take long to build your map. Build your map where you've played. Track your scores. Or you don't have to. App Me Golf, we're not overly bothered about scoring. We're not worried about tracking stuff, we're more worried about getting people, not worried, we're more um, influenced, obsessed. We want to get more people golfing. We want to make it easier. And if we can find golf discounts and cheap places to go and course rankings where uh, where you've been, you can rank your courses. So this is another thing you could look at on a person's profile. What have they ranked? What are their favourite courses? If you want to take them on a golf trip, so Hornsey, you know, you want to go. Uh, you want to go to Hornsey on a trip. Oh man, uh, where are you going? You go here. Go to Jacko. Has he played Hornsey? There's different ways of doing this. I could have gone to the course page. Hornsey. Search. I doubt he's played Hornsey. He hasn't. I have. But there's some nice courses around again. 
hopefully fun, hopefully interesting, hopefully just things to get you out playing and get your ideas of where to play somewhere new and tick these courses off your map. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Paul at Happy Me Golf. Out.